Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy, and if you're new, then welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a yard sale haul of what we did Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and there was actually a little bit today because we, we happened to drive by a church that was having a rummage sale, so I only got a couple things there. But, um, so let's see, where to start? Well, Friday there was a yard sale just down the street from us. And I only got two things there, and one is this nice um, covered stainless steel pot, the copper bottom, and that was only a dollar, so I picked that up. And also, um, she had this little bag holder I thought was really cute, it's got little cats on it. So I picked that up. I'm probably not going to go in the order of your sales because I have a lot of stuff. It's not a lot of really great things, but there is a lot of items that, that I got. Um, we went to this one sale, I think it was on Saturday, and um, they had a ton of, it was one of those ones where you go and you dig in boxes and, you know, um, it was kind of fun, but there was a lot of people there and... It was a little chaotic. Nothing was priced. <clears throat> so you had to ask the price of everything. And there was only one lady there who knew the price. And she was all over the place because it was so busy. But anyways, um, <clears throat> what I got at that is that sale, and I think it was it was kind of like an estate sale. Um, she was selling this stuff from her uncle. And the first thing I saw were these bookends. And they're these, these owls. They're really heavy. I kind of think they're like painted um, cast iron. But I thought they were really cool. And it says uh, Seton 1970 USA. So those are really nice. So they have felt on the bottom. Really heavy. Oh. So those will probably go in my Poshmark closet because their shipping is, you know, it's the same price for anything. Um, I also got this cute little um, tape dispenser, and it's a, I don't know if it's a, I guess it's a turtle, Some, it almost looks like a snail, but I guess it's a turtle, and it's, um, I believe it's made in Japan, let's see, it is counterpoint made in Japan, I have some uh, canisters from counterpoint. I thought that was really cute, so I got that. And I think that was, might have been a dollar. Yeah, because I paid two dollars for, this was a dollar, and that was a dollar, I think. And then, um, I was digging through, she had a bin of um, glasses, and there was tons of glasses. I believe they were a dollar a glass, so I was taking some out, and then the lady came over and said, you know what, if you want, she goes, you can have that whole box for $10. So I said, wow, that sounds like a good deal. So I went ahead and bought it, bought the whole box. And I'm just going to show you a few of these. There were 33 of these type glasses from the collection, or the Pepsi collection series. And they're between 1973 and 1976. And I'm just going to show you a few of my favorite ones. Because um, like I guess if there's 33, I'd be here all day showing these to you. So here's one of Porky Pig, Porky and Petunia Pig. There's um, another Porky Pig. They're really good condition. There's only a couple that were kind of spotty, and I'm still trying to get them clean. I might have to soak them in vinegar, I'm not sure. But there's um, Jerry. Oh, wait a minute. I guess it's Tom and Jerry. Or Tom and Jerry. <laughs> I don't know my cartoons very well. Those are from 1973. There's Tweety and Sylvester. Those are so cute. I almost feel like I had these at one time. I think in the 70s I actually collected these. And I don't know, my mother probably just gave them all away. There's some superhero ones. Um, there's Superman. There's Robin. Um, the Joker. Oosh, Batwoman. Um, 
And then we have the Roadrunner, Pepe Le Pew. But you know, Pepe Le Pew has been canceled now, so I don't know. Um, who else? Daffy Duck. Tasmanian Devil. So that's a few. There's a lot more, but um, like I said, I think I have two Jokers, three Bat Women. Um, some of them I do have doubles of. And then um, just some other different ones. And also in that box was, um, like this was in there. It's a hangover mug. <laughs> two handles, isn't that cute? With little elephants on it. And this was... Why do I even try without my glasses? I don't know. Copyright 1983, Chadwick Miller, made in Korea. There was this little Tonka sippy cup, which is kind of cute, plastic. There were these two little um, boot, like shot glasses. This little um, pottery vase, which is really cute. There's no markings on it. Okay, I have to make some room here. Okay, also in that same box, there were these glass, these um, like plastic, they remind me of restaurant glasses that they use for drinking water. So there's seven of these. Those will probably go in a garage when we ever have our yard sale. I'll put those in there. Uh, there's two Garfield mugs. And then there's, um, I'll just show you a few of these, but there's these little bar glasses and there's uh, eight of these and they're all different um, brands. That's Peps, Jim Beam, Miller, and Early Times. So, so there's some beer ones and some liquor ones. And um, last but not least, there's some McDonald's glasses. And I don't know if there's a date on these. Let's see. The Hamburglar, 1977. And Mayor McCheese. And there is no date that I can see. Hmm. Yeah, there's no date on that one. So that was all from that one place. And then um, I picked up this beautiful basket. And I don't know if it's Fenton or not because I can't read the bottom of it. Somebody on Instagram said it was Fenton. I don't know if you can see the bottom. It is like a little oval. Um, like ring around it with a name in the center which I know Fenton does but my husband and I tried with uh, all kinds of magnifying glasses we just can't make it out so I hate to say it's Fenton if it's you know when I can't read it but it's kind of like a um, luster wear or a, oh, what do you call that carnival glass but it's purple and it is just absolutely beautiful and it has like a little roses on there I don't know if you can see that. But it's so, so pretty. It's really pretty in the light. So that was a dollar, and then this was also a dollar. I don't know why I picked these up. These aren't that old. I think they're from 1990s. Um, I think it was 96 or 97. But I thought they were really cute, cute little dollies. So I got those at that sale. I picked up an old rolling pin for 50 cents because I just love these. I collect them with the red handles. So I got that. I got another little Avon perfume bottle. This is a little uh, terrier. Looks like a Scotty terrier. I got this, look at this beautiful velvet box. I just like the box, but also inside, whoops. Of course, they're gonna fall out now. But it's these beautiful um, earrings, and they're opal 
with sterling silver. I don't know if you can see that. So they look like fire opals, but they're really pretty. And that was, um, I think it was a dollar. It's from itshot.com, which I've never heard of. So I picked up those for myself. And what else? I got this um, Pyrex dish. It doesn't have a lid on it, which is a bummer. So I'm going to see if I can find a lid. I have one of these for myself. But I think it's um, Butterfly Gold. I'm not really sure. I'm not really up on uh, Pyrex. I think it's one and a half quarts. And I believe it is number, oh my gosh. It looks like 043, one and a half quarts. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to stop this for a second and make some more room. Okay, I'm back. Oh, it's starting to get hot in here. Okay, um, also where I got the glasses, I got this spool or a, it's like a, what do I want to say, wooden spools. I thought they were cool. I'll probably take those apart and use those for some kind of crafting. But that's a lot of them. So that was a buck, I think. So, what else? I didn't get a lot of really wow, awesome items. Like I don't even know what was an wow item, except for the glasses. I, I was pretty happy with those. Because when I looked them up, they run, and I don't know if I already said this, but they range anywhere from like $10 to, um, I think like $40 a piece, so that's pretty, pretty good. Anyways, I picked up this little tin, this little teddy bear tin. It has some rusting in the bottom. And this is from 1987 Parco Foods, but it's full of sewing items. So for a dollar, I thought that was pretty good. There's some laces, there's a lot of thread, there's some um, pinking shears, um, no sew tape for him, there's a lot of embroidery thread, there's um, a pin cushion, there's, a, there's buttons, a lot of buttons. And there's sewing needles. So, I mean, it's a pretty awesome deal, I thought, for a dollar. I might um, sell the tin separate and uh, probably keep the sewing supplies. So, that is for that. Down the street, there was another yard sale, and I picked up a few items. And these are newer items. Um, I thought this was kind of different. You put three votives in there, and that was kind of pretty. Somebody might like that. I got this picture frame. Everything was really dirty and dusty. This I'm going to have to get a brush and, and dust it off. But I thought that would be cool for Halloween display, so that's for, for me to put in my Halloween box. And also this candlestick. I thought that would be kind of cool for Halloween too, you know. So, I don't know if it's silver plate or not. It does say um, Godinger in the bottom. It doesn't look like silver there, but I thought it was kind of pretty. So I got that. Um, I'm always picking up this garland. I got a bunch of freebies today. For that future craft project. I got a bunch of garland and I also got some more um, doilies. This is an embroidered one. It's really pretty. It does have some stains on it so I'm going to try soaking it and see if I can get those stains out of it. Beautiful pansies. And this I thought was different. Oops, let me see which way it goes. Um, 
that's also embroidered. It's really different. And then um, some more of these type of doilies. little ones. Two, two of those. And this pretty red one. This was very, very fine thread. And these, I just love the color on these. They have butterflies on them. A little crochet or some type of a lace edging on them. So there was two that size, and then a little um, like table runner. Just pretty, just really pretty. So got those, and um, yesterday down the street there was, which is unusual for a Sunday, but it was a Sunday only sale. Our neighbors, these are not. Old. These are very new, but they're made to look old. So this really cool mermaid sign, and it looks like it's rusty, but it's not. It's all, like I said, it was just made to look that way. So I got that, and this tin. The same thing. I thought it was all rusted, but it's not. It's just in the design. But I thought it was really cool. I love tins. So we might put these out by the pool. Oh, and also this little anchor. I think I paid $5 for all three of these. For this little anchor. And. So how do you use this? Oh. And it works. That's pretty cool. So we'll hang that up over by the pool. So it kind of goes with our color theme. And, and across the street from them, the lady was having a sale. And it's so weird because she said she had it Saturday. And we drove by there several times Saturday and never saw it. And um, she goes, oh yeah. She goes, but I didn't put a sign up. I had a sign by the street. So we probably drove right by and didn't see it. But anyways. We did go there yesterday, and I just picked up this for 10 cents. It's just a little milk glass, you know, from FTD. I don't think it's very old. I think it's FTD. Maybe not. So I picked up that from her, and I also got this, um, let's see if I can get it out of the bag. These aren't really old items, but they're cute. This little bunny basket. For a quarter, I had to take this the sticker off of it, but I thought that was really pretty. And um, the Santa Claus, it's, ah, it's falling out. Uh oh. But he's not very old. He's from Mervyn's. He fell out of his sleigh. But he actually goes in here. Let's see if I get this out. And I don't, let's see, this is Mervyn's too. It doesn't say where it was made. So, I don't know. It could be from the 80s or 90s. His face looks kind of old. I thought that was kind of cute. I'll probably sell him. I don't know if I'll keep that one. And then also from her, the same lady, I got this little tin, because I have a cup that matches this. Again, it's probably not old. This is made in England. There's no lid for it though, which is unfortunate. Wilbur's Cocoa. And then my granddaughter really liked this basket, so I picked this up. She was with us. So I got that little basket. It's nice for an Easter or spring display. And um, let me see what else. Okay, um, almost done here. 
Okay, and then today we went to um, a rummage sale. It was at a church rummage sale, which we were we were surprised to see it on a Monday. But they're going to have it Monday through Thursday, so we'll probably go back again tomorrow and see if they have anything different. But um, I picked up these little boots. They're like little black Santa boots, and there are three of them. So I picked those up and just use it for a craft project. And then they have these cute little cups. They look like children's cups. But there's a monkey, and the tail is the handle. Really small cups. And this one is an elephant, which is really cute. And the trunk is the handle on that one. So they had another one. I don't remember what it was, but it had a chip in it, so I didn't get that one. But I thought they were really cute. And that is everything. So. It wasn't the best weekend for yard sales. Um, just not a lot of vintage items out there. So um, some of these items I will list for resale. And if you find anything you're interested in, you can just send me a DM on Instagram and um, we can work out a deal. And otherwise, they'll probably be listed on my Poshmark closet. I'm gonna start listing those glasses, I think, today. And um, I really need to be more selective, I think, of what I'm buying and try to stick to the vintage items. It's just that there isn't a lot out there. Um, oh, there's another thing I got today, which I forgot. This was, a, some lady had a yard sale this past weekend. And then today, she had a sign that said yard sale, so we went to check it out. But everything that was out there was just free. So I picked up this little um, snowman. I thought he was cute. Again, he's not old and, uh, but he is cute. Looks like he, he had a battery in him. I don't know exactly what he does if it lights up, but I'll check him out. It's from 1990. I guess he's older than I thought. He's got a really cute face. But anyways, like I said, I think I'm going to try to be a little more selective. That's what I say, but mm, I don't know. I go crazy when I see cheap things. So anyways, um, anyways don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.